intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. With the right equipment, a little bit of ingenuity, and a little bit of luck, trailering a load can be a pleasant and enjoyable experience. So let's take a look at some of the equipment you might need if you need to trailer some garbage down to the dump. What we got so, here is a selection of draw bars. We've got the regular Reese 21175 draw bar with a uh, 1 and 7 8 ball. We've got a uh, lighter duty no name draw bar with no ball. And here we have the mother of all draw bars, which I think for our purposes today might be a little large. I like to use a draw bar that fits snugly into the receptacle on the trailer hitch. This one, for example, I find a little loose. It gives me a little bit of sway on the road. I'm more of a fan of the standard Reese 21175, which fits snugly into the receptacle and looks kind of good on the back of the truck. Tie downs are also important. I have a selection of uh, useful items, such as a bungee cord. I've got a couple of tangled pieces of yellow poly rope, which are always useful. A Canadian tire ratchet strap. Some miscellaneous hard blue rope. And in case you can't find anything else, you can always use an extension cord. I like to secure the trailer hitch with one of these locking pins. That ought to hold it. And lastly, a clever electrician can wire up your vehicle with the appropriate harness for your trailer. Well, I have everything I need. Let's go see how Bernie's making out. Figure you think it's gonna make it? I don't know. It's maybe the. Should I do my own eulogy at this point? Uh, he was a good man. Yeah. Not um, too bright, but. He was a good man, yes. And a little thing, cheap. Actually. Bit of a garbage collector. So let's see what we've got here. We've got kind of a, a Sanford and Son S. The Sanford S Hyundai accent. It's a nice Hyundai accent. We've got. Looks like it's got some kind of fiberglass thing attached to the back of it, which appears to be some kind of shelter for homeless people. The type of person who would actually own a car like that? It's like, are we getting, a, getting some knottage put in here? Okay. It's attached right. to the car quite well. Now what do we got here? We got a piece of wood. There's some couple of concrete blocks for concreteness. And then we've got sort of boaty stuff, and then a piece of wood at the back, and some strings. So oh, I think this videotape's going to end up on a Transport Canada <laughs> film of what not to do, or, or either evidence in court. I'm going to charge the Highway Traffic Act based on your video uh, documentary of mine. <laughs> Looks like it's got a license plate and some wheels. So bit of an overhang at the back, which is a little alarming. Very alarming. Let's see. This is the grandmother of granny knots. Now that's a knot. Look at that. The only person who's going to do that is Alexander the Great. Or a guy with a really sharp knife. There's another one. Look at that. That is quite an odd. Look at that. Wonderful. Yeah, so let's just hope that these things don't slip. I don't think they will. No, I don't think. And will this slip off the back of the trailer? No. 
Are we actually going to tie those down to the trailer, do you think? Or? Uh, I don't think so. I brought some nails. We should have nailed it on first. That would have been really clever. Yeah, the only thing this car is missing? A Quebec yeah. license plate. That's exactly right. Look at that, Ontario. That on film. Okay, so we got a flat tire to start things. Then we've got this. We call it the killing pole. Yeah, it's uh, very nautically tied on there. The anti the killing bars at the back. The anti chafe point and tied there. And then we've got the uh, mass secured carefully using these nylon straps and foam blocks to give it maximum flexage underway. And we've got a piece in the back to stop it from swaying. Yes, and note that the shoelace I think is really worth it. It's a shoelace. <laughs> that is indeed a shoelace. But I think that's all that's required for the job. That's um, an Adidas shoelace actually. It really is a shoelace. <laughs> it really is. But it, it, I think it'll be just fine. I'll just see. I'm not going to find you get to using a shoelace. And it's strapped on here to some wood and it's tied to the trailer. Tied to the trailer here and then strapped on again. With this kind of hook business. I don't know what that's about. And then uh, at, the, at the back. That'll be perfect. Well, that means that at the back it's tied on with shoelaces, it seems. Well, that's the other shoelace. There's always two shoelaces, right? <laughs> it's from the other shoe. <laughs> exactly. And then to get a long shot of the whole business. Yeah, you should. Looking pretty good. It's a proud moment for me, really. I, I think I should make a speech. Thank everyone involved. Say goodbye to everyone. We just need to have a look in the back of the vehicle. See what we got here. Lots of stuff. Okay. We got a whole bunch of stuff happening. And it all smells. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> it has a smell to it, all this stuff. Kind of an old barn. Well, indeed, this is a proud moment. It is. The ancient mariner and his boat. This is the second sailboat I've owned. See you later. See ya. Thank you very much. Drive Thank carefully. You. Thank your father again. Again, give me a call if you have trouble, eh?